Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's News Roundup. In a stunning turn of events, several key members of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's inner circle have tendered their resignations amidst growing controversies surrounding allegations of misconduct and unethical behavior. The departures of these trusted advisors and confidants have dealt a significant blow to Trudeau's administration, raising questions about the integrity of his leadership. Among the high-profile resignations are Jerry Butts, Trudeau's longtime friend and principal secretary, Katie Telford, chief of staff to the prime minister, Matthew Bouchard, senior advisor and Quebec advisor. These individuals were considered to be part of Trudeau's inner sanctum, privy to sensitive information and instrumental in shaping the government's policies and decision-making processes. Their sudden departures have sent shockwaves through the political landscape, fueling speculation about the nature of the allegations and the potential implications for Trudeau's administration. Minister, who is Andre Lee's Mathot? Um, I don't know them personally. I understand they've held a few uh, board positions uh, within different uh, federal organizations. Okay, and so. Um, Ms. Mathot uh, was announced to be a member of the Canada Infrastructure Bank, appointed uh, by the Trudeau government. She came from the Sustainable Development Technology Canada, which is also known as the Billion Dollar Green Slush Fund. And uh, part of the reason it's known as that is because of um, some of the work of Ms. Mathot, including her financial interest in a group of companies that she voted to give $42 million taxpayer dollars to. Do you endorse her serving on the infrastructure bank. While the specific details of the allegations remain unclear, reports suggest that they revolve around potential conflicts of interest, abuse of power, and ethical breaches. Sources close to the matter have hinted at possible favoritism in the awarding of government contracts and the mishandling of sensitive information. The resignation of Jerry Butts in particular has raised eyebrows as he has been a staunch supporter and confidant of Trudeau since his early political career. Butt's departure is seen as a significant loss for the Prime Minister, who has relied heavily on his counsel and strategic advice. In recent times, the political landscape surrounding Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has been marked by a series of departures among his most trusted allies, raising questions about the stability and future direction of his leadership. Amidst controversies including allegations of interference in Canadian elections and criticisms of centralizing too much power within the Prime Minister's office PMO, there's a growing concern that Canada's political unity and economic prosperity might be at risk. The departure of key figures, such as those from Trudeau's inner circle, suggests a potential shift in the governance approach, which could have far-reaching implications for Canada's economic policies and its standing on the global stage. The economic backdrop against which these political shifts are occurring cannot be ignored. With Canada's economy outperforming expectations despite higher interest rates and avoiding the recession that some had predicted, the question arises, is Canada getting poorer under Trudeau's leadership, or are these departures a sign of a deeper, more systemic issue? The government's interventionist stance, as seen through initiatives like the Canada Emergency Response Benefit served during the COVID-19 pandemic, showcased a willingness to support individuals and enterprises financially. However, critics argue that long-term economic stability requires more than just government spending. It demands a cohesive, strategic vision that seems to be wavering amidst the current political turbulence. As Trudeau's trustworthy employees begin to abandon ship, the impact on Canada's economic policies and international relations remains a topic of intense speculation and concern. Uh, I actually uh, understand that person has resigned, so uh, there's, there is no such service to endorse. And on what date did Ms. Mathot resign? Uh, the 16th of April. The allegations of misconduct and unethical behavior surrounding Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's inner circle have dealt a severe blow to public confidence in his leadership. As the controversy unfolded, opinion polls revealed a sharp decline in Trudeau's approval ratings with a growing segment of Canadians expressing skepticism and disillusionment. According to a recent survey by Ipsos, only 38% of respondents indicated that they trust Trudeau to uphold ethical standards and make decisions in the best interest of the nation. This represents a significant drop from the 52% who expressed trust in the Prime Minister just six months prior. As public skepticism mounted, calls for transparency and a thorough investigation into the allegations intensified. Opposition parties and civil society organizations demanded that Trudeau's government take immediate steps to address the concerns and restore public trust. 
release of all relevant documents and communication records, establishment of an independent inquiry or commission to investigate the claims, commitment to cooperate fully with any investigations, the implementation of stronger ethical guidelines and oversight mechanisms. The Canadian public, once supportive of Trudeau's leadership, now finds itself questioning the integrity of his government. As the controversy continues to unfold, the Prime Minister faces an uphill battle to regain the trust of the nation and navigate the growing calls for accountability. But what do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's keep this important conversation going. Also, take a minute to visit our website, sign the petition demanding Justin Trudeau leave the office immediately and sign up for our newsletters to get uncensored news in Canadian politics. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Faced with mounting pressure and eroding public trust, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau addressed the controversy head on. In a nationally televised address, he defended his actions and reiterated his commitment to ethical governance. Trudeau acknowledged that mistakes were made, but insisted that his intentions were honorable, driven by a desire to protect Canadian interests and uphold democratic values. While defending his overall conduct, Trudeau offered a sincere apology for any perceived lapses in judgment or ethical breaches. He vowed to work closely with the ethics commissioner to ensure full transparency and adherence to the highest standards of conduct. Trudeau pledged to cooperate fully with any investigations and to implement measures to restore public confidence in his leadership. Trudeau's team launched a comprehensive outreach and communication campaign to address public concerns directly. This included town hall meetings across the country to engage with citizens, increased social media presence to address questions and provide updates, regular press briefings to keep the media and public informed. To demonstrate his commitment to accountability, Trudeau proposed a series of policy reforms, including Strengthening conflict of interest guidelines for government officials. Enhancing transparency measures in government decision-making processes. Establishing an independent ethics advisory board to oversee government conduct. Recognizing the importance of maintaining strong alliances, Trudeau reached out to key political allies both domestically and internationally. He sought to reassure them of his commitment to ethical leadership and to rebuild trust that had been eroded by the controversy. Regardless of the outcome of the upcoming election, the controversies that have plagued Trudeau's tenure are likely to leave a lasting impact on his political legacy and reputation. The allegations of misconduct and unethical behavior have tarnished the image of a leader who once positioned himself as a champion of transparency and ethical governance. Even if Trudeau manages to secure another term in office, his ability to enact meaningful change and advance his progressive agenda may be hindered by the erosion of public trust and the lingering cloud of controversy. Critics may seize upon these scandals to question the integrity of his administration, potentially hampering his ability to govern effectively. Moreover, Trudeau's reputation on the international stage may suffer as the controversies have garnered significant attention beyond Canada's borders. Foreign leaders and global institutions may view him with increased skepticism, potentially undermining his ability to exert influence on the world stage and advance Canada's interests abroad. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share this video if you found it informative. Your engagement helps us continue creating content that explores important issues facing Canada today. For more updates, visit scoopcanada.com.